Hello again, this is Sickle Yield, and I'm here to talk to you about using Crossfigure with Genesis 8. I hope that you will pardon my sound. I just don't have the energy to fight it today, but I really wanted to share with you guys this new method that I found. So, Crossfigure is a program that allows you to use female clothing on males and vice versa, but it was never really released for Genesis 8, only Genesis 3 and 2. So I'm going to show you how to use the Genesis 3 version on Genesis 8. Here I have Genesis 8 female, and I'm going to select any item of clothing for her. Find one that looks more gender neutral here. Maybe in the full body section, maybe like a bodysuit. Scroll up here. I'll go with the firefly suit. And it'll take a second for that to load. Loading, loading, loading. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to select Genesis 8 female and I'm going to go to the parameters tab. In the parameters tab, I'm going to go up here to this small button and make sure that show hidden properties is checked. You don't have to leave it on forever, but you do want it on for this tutorial because now you're going to go to Hidden and Clones and dial in Genesis 8 Male from this list. You will note that the clone has been transferred into the clothing. There isn't really a bulge, but there are ways of adding that. So I'll dial that back off, but now, when I click on the Firefly suit, that morph has been transferred and I can see it in the Parameters tab, Clone Genesis 8 Male. So I'm going to go to the parameter settings of that morph, which you can find by clicking this little gear and clicking Parameter Settings. And I'm going to change Clone to XID underscore, and I'm going to copy that and paste it to the next line. This is the code name that the script needs. And I'm going to change this to modifier shape so it does not say generated. And I'm going to set value to 100 for now. That doesn't look right on Genesis 8 female, but it's not meant to. The next thing I will do is use the cross figure script on it. So I'm going to go down to my scripts folder you will have to have purchased the program from Daz3D, of course. Under Utilities, you can then find your cross-figure setup. And I'm just going to double-click on that. And it says cross-figure setup is complete. And now it has created these other two morphs, the FID and another XID for Genesis 8 Female. So I'm just going to turn off that XID morph for now. And then I'm going to unfit this from Genesis 8 female. And hide her from view. And then I'm going to, you could either load Genesis 8 into your scene at this point, or I've got one hidden here. There he is. Now, in this case, I'm going to dial that morph in on the Firefly suit again under Hidden and Clones in this case, and XID, Genesis 8 Male. That's a good fit. If I were to fit it to him right now, however, it would not work because the skeleton is not quite right. So I'm going to, in my Scene tab, left-click on Genesis 8 Male, hold down Control, and left-click on the suit to ensure that they are both selected in that order. The order is important. You need Genesis 8 Male selected first. Then I'm going to click on the little button at the top right of the Scene tab and choose Edit, Rigging, and Transfer Rigging Figure Space. Now I've changed the skeleton to match Genesis 8 males, but I want that change to only affect this XID morph. So I'm going to go to that, right-click on it, make sure Edit Mode is selected here, and then I'm going to go down here and choose ERC Freeze. And this panel pops up. I'm just going to click Accept. 
And then I can dial that off and I'm ready to save those morphs. So I'll select the Firefly suit and choose File, Save As, Support Asset, and Morph Asset. I have an asset directory that is just for things like this, but you can save it to whatever asset directory you like. I will save it under just my name and base. It doesn't really matter the, the names you put in there because it's saved under the clothing, so you're not going to overwrite anything, probably. And I will save those three morphs that the crossfigure created, or rather the two that crossfigure created and the one that we created from the clone, and then I will click Accept. Now, if I delete both the Firefly suit and Genesis 8 female from the scene, I need to have Genesis 8 male not selected here because it won't find the Firefly suit for him. Unfortunately, the downside of this method is that it can't add smart content to make it automatically conform to Genesis 8 male. So we'll have to click on the Firefly suit and then in the Parameters tab, use Fit To and fit it to Genesis 8 Mail. And now it fits. You can also use this method with hair. That's probably what I'm going to be using it on the most. But it can be used to make any outfit unisex. If you're unhappy with the fit, you can also create a new XID morph instead of using the clone. But that requires you to be able to use a modeling software and to know how to use it. The method that I've just described to you can be done by anyone with Daz Studio and no expertise in Blender or Modo or any program that, that one of us vendors would necessarily use. So I hope that that is helpful to all of you. Thank you for watching and happy rendering!